Good morning. Oh, I'm drinking green tea. Good morning, everyone. Two in a row. I'm on a roll. I'm back on it. Vlogmas version t four. We're doing Vlogmas again. We're doing Marchmas. Although we've already, we've already started like pretty much at the end of March. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day. Byron. Yeah. <laughs> What, what was going on, bro? It all started out fun. We were chatting like old friends, and then you said people who go to plant shops together are lame, bro. <laughs> That's a Did it make you jump? Uh, a little bit. At first, I opened it up. I was like, "There's a body in here," because the lights were like dim. They're dark. Yeah, that's that was the plan. I wanted you to walk in, like, wait, there's a there's a dude in my bed. <laughs> yeah. And then his orange hair threw me off. I didn't... You thought, oh, Joe's, Joe's replaced me. He's kicked me out. It was Father Abraham all along. There he is. There he goes. He's back. He's grown some hair. You know that. Uh, I feel like we should make some Father Abraham merch. <laughs> do you know what I mean? We should do it. Not to be confused with the original Father Abraham. Oh, yeah. He's, well, what, what did the original look like? I can't remember. It had the baby mask on. No, I mean the, ori the OG, the, the Bible version of Father Abraham. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Byron came in after me. Uh, what time did you get in? Like one? One ish, yeah. I was already out of it. Completely asleep I start reading my book at the moment I'm reading a book by Terry Pratchett which is called Color of Magic it's, 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 I think it's his first book in that kind of series and I, I love it but he's very it's, it's funny like it's actually a funny book like, it has me like laughing out loud which is good is it a Discworld book yeah a Discworld yeah, book but oh, it's, it's complicated he's com writes in a complicated way though yeah. sometimes I get a little bit lost but it is good I'll, I'll show you the book I'll show you the actual book a little bit later but I feel like it's affecting my dreams last night I had the craziest Weirdest dreams, like vivid dreams as well. When I dream, I don't just like dream of like random stuff, do I, Ollie? Everything I want in a sandwich. Exactly. You guys know how imaginative I can be at times. I go the full length when it comes down to dreaming. I actually wrote down my dreams in my notes. I woke up and I wrote them down in my notes. I'm gonna read them out to you, Byron. Right, Byron, do you want to hear what my dream was last night? Lay it on me. The challenge is you're not allowed to laugh whilst I read this out to you, okay? I'm humorous. <laughs> well, I think it's, it's, it's so weird that it could be. These are the notes I wrote at five in the morning when I woke up, so I'm still half asleep. Yeah. Um, so some of it's written quite weird. I was just having a thought, if any of you are feeling very creative and want to get involved with this segment of my vlog, so I want to do this on a more regular occasion when I talk about my dreams and stuff. If any of you out there are like budding animators or you know, you're into that kind of thing and you want to showcase some of your work, through my vlogs, go ahead and animate these dreams as you see them, upload them to YouTube, and then tweet me the link. That's what I'll do, I'll follow you back, I'll DM you, you send me the file, and then I'll put your animation into the vlog, um, depicting my dreams. Anyway, Byron, are you ready? Lay it on me, bro, I'm so ready. <laughs> this is my dream from last night. I was playing in a rugby match with my old team against Trowbridge. That right? was pretty long. So I was playing in a rugby match, yeah, and I, I remember I was nervous, because I was like, I haven't played rugby for ages, this yeah. is dangerous. One of their guys scored a try, uh, by running out of the field, down the road, all the way to another rugby ground, like literally like miles away. <laughs> You've lost. You really got me. Uh, and scored it there, which which was was allowed. He was allowed. He ran out. He was running out of the out of the field, all the way down the road, past all the traffic, down the motorway to the next nearest rugby pitch, and just scored on that try on, the, on their try line. Rugby teams have been doing it wrong all this time. And I put afterwards. He was Samoan. <laughs> He was Samoan, just a little FYI, he was Samoan. <laughs> After the game, we made a tunnel for them, because they ended up winning the That's game, okay. annoyingly. Um, we made a tunnel for them, and for some reason Zoe was there, in the tunnel. But she had like, this like, multi-coloured like, tea cosy on her head, to try and like, keep her under wraps, because we were worried about putting her out in front of a giant rugby team. Yeah. That people might know of, of her, of who she was, and, and whatnot. And we ended up losing the game. And I missed out on most of the game, because I actually went to, like, halfway through the game, the second half, I missed out on the game because I went to go and visit an old Roman town with Gandalf. <laughs> like, um, so Ian McKellen was coming to visit an old Roman town, um, which had all that old Roman writing everywhere and that kind of thing, and I had to go over and just make sure everything was good and took him around and stuff. He's a really nice guy though. I'm sure. He was full of conversation, he did a few magic tricks, everything, he was, he was good. I have to change hands because my, my arm's aching. We then went back to the clubhouse and everyone was showering upstairs. I noticed a strange silver light flying across the sky. I filmed it on my phone. But the vid video wasn't playing, but wouldn't play back. It was like deleted. So what happened? I saw like, basically I saw this giant silver disc flying across the sky. And I was like, what the f is that? Yeah. So I filmed it on my phone. And when I went to, went to look back at it. Uh, it was it was gone. And wh whoever it was that the who was flying the silver disc noticed that I was filming it from the window mm. and started coming towards the window. And I was thinking, oh god, oh god, oh god. A little man got out of the UFO and came through the window. Just like just went through the window. Tiny little guy, about that big, <laughs> like, very very small, came through the window. And I was obviously f***ing myself, I was yeah. thinking bloody hell I've upset this UFO guy. So I run and burst into the first shower door, through the, through the door, I break the locks, I'm like so scared, I don't want to be on my own. Yeah. Zoe's in there showering. 
which is really awkward. But uh, there was no time to even think about that kind of stuff. It was like, Zoe, we're, there's, a, there's a UFO coming through the window. And a little man. Uh, and Zoe just didn't even believe me, and she's carrying on showering. So I ran out, ran down to the next shower, where for some reason the whole rest of the rugby team were in there. Mm. Like, like Jonesy, like <laughs> everyone, all my mates were in there, showering together. Uh, which is what they do in rugby, apparently. I burst in there, I was like, boys, boys, there's an alien that's landed, he's come through the, he's come through the window, he's in the building. They didn't believe me either. Then I went back, and there was a huge ship, like, the, and as I came out, the, the whole, it was like dark outside, I was like, what the hell's going on? It was, the whole sky was black, because there's a giant mothership that had landed in the sky, so with loads of little silver discs flying around. I was like, this is the end of the world. Yeah. Like, aliens has come from somewhere else, and landed outside the, like, on the world, and they're like, now I'm gonna take over. So I was really scared. And it was all over the. I checked on Twitter and stuff. It was on the major news. Uh, everyone was like reporting it. We went to go visit my dad, and he said he's already met one of them. We're like, oh, okay, <laughs> nice one, dad. He had just finished a run, which would never have happened. My dad, <laughs> my dad's not going on runs. Um, well, he has got a treadmill. Uh, he, he, he said he finished a run and he got on quite well with it, and that they were friendly. So he was like, oh, I've already met one of these aliens. Great, Turns out they're all right. Like I spoke to him, I said, who are you? And he explained who he was, and we just got chatting. Next thing you know, we're like, we're mates. I was like, okay, fine. Um, so we went upstairs and dad went out um, and then the aliens came to our window again. Uh, but they weren't nice to us and then I woke up. <laughs> they must have arrived but like, it's been really insulting or whatever. <laughs> and then I woke up to an alien invasion. I would love to have heard a little bit more about the Samoan rugby character. <laughs> yeah, I know. Apparently, he's still running now. <laughs> he's still running now down to the next rugby pitch. The Samoan the was riveting, but I just felt like the connection to the Samoan rugby Yeah, it was so random. Was lost in me I remember being like, blimey now, like, they're Samoans. <laughs> they're, they're so good at rugby, like, just good at scoring tries. They, they are solid rugby players. They're solid rugby players. Anyway, that was my dream. That was interesting, bro. Yeah. Next morning for the next segment. Exactly. So if you want to, if you want to be featured in the next vlog, uh, we'll revisit this dream, an animated version. If you want to animate that and send it to me, I would love that. I would love it. So tweet me them or anything. It doesn't matter what level you are at animating either. Even if you're terrible, you draw it, you draw it as stick men even. Give it a go and then I'll pick my fave and put it in the vlog. Byron, do you want a boiled egg? Sorry? Would you like a boiled egg? It might taste a bit different now that my mouth is covered in fluoride. Uh, it's really gross for everyone watching. They're nice. You could even say they're excellent. Mm. <laughs> it is later on in the day now and we've just been to the gym. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Tay's been working on that bloody legs. Baron! I'm jealous, man. Just went you do like one cycle, already got legs of a demon. This what is, is this? The best part of a gym session is that you I can, can smell that strawberry from here. You have a milkshake. Like fake it. strawberry. Oh, I'm jealous. There's this machine they have in our gym where you stand on it barefoot. You can, there's an option to go naked. But I'm thinking, who's getting butt naked in the gym to do that? It measures like everything. It sends like a, like a pulse through your body uh, and you can work your stuff out. And I took some photographs. So I signed up and all that kind of thing. Turns out I'm officially classed as thin. You may have seen on my Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter, then it's Joe underscore so. What are you playing at? I'm officially thin, which I mean, shock, coming thing I don't know. But the other thing was, it said I had the metabolic age. metabolic age, so the age at which I like burn off my food. You have this thing called a metabolism. If it's very, very fast, it means that whenever you, you could eat sort of any food you want, but your body will burn it off very quickly. And some people um, have a slow metabolism, which means that the food, I guess, stores in their body for longer, and so they put on weight. As you know, I'm very, very slim and thin. Uh, so I have a very, very fast metabolism. Turns out it's so fast, it's the age of a 12 year old. I have a 12 year old's metabolism, which is quite a weird thing to think about. My metabolism hasn't changed since I was 12 years old. Which is weird as well, because when I was younger, I was a little, I was a right little porker. I was a little, just a little chub, just sat there, not moving, just eating all the time. Oh, how times have changed. Anyway, some packages have arrived. This parcel has arrived. I didn't have a clue what it was. It's wrapped in brown paper, which makes me think food. I don't know why, which is ironic, because my metabolism is of a 12 year old. That's probably why I think of that kind of thing. I think I've just realized what it is. This is so hard to do one-handed. I'll let you know what it is in a minute. Three, two, one. Oh my god, Byron, look at this. It's exactly what I ordered. A load of newspaper. <laughs> yes! I've been waiting for this for so long. Read that. Oh, it's from the classic ages. Back classic. in the days. Back in the days when YouTube was great. Oh, I've only read this yesterday when we went plant shopping. What? Advertise and gardening. Oh, classic. Imagine the plants we could have got there. So, in here we have... It is what I think it is. God, you stink of bloody strawberries. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's this. Polaroid. Oh, can you get... Can you tell what it is yet? And here it is. This piece of kit right here 
is an old school Polaroid camera, believe it or not. I have no idea how it works, but this is, this is the gear. And also, which arrived today, which is very, very good. We also have the Polaroid film for an SX. So this is the Polaroid SX70 autofocus. Believe it or not, my good pal Sawyer Hartman, um, I saw him testing out different Polaroid cameras on his Instagram. I said, oh my God, what, which camera is that? I love it. Because the one that I have at the moment, it keeps letting light in, it keeps leaking light in. He told me which one it was. Went on eBay, found one for an absolute bar. I think I got it picked up for like 70 pounds. For an old school Polaroid camera, I think that's pretty decent. There was something going for like 300, which to be honest, probably ones that actually work. I'm not expecting this to work at all, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Oh, look at this beautiful thing. Look at it. Casual boiled eggs in the background, but look, this is it. In all of its glory, lovely jubbly. I'm gonna test it out now on my male model. Bad on. Yeah, bro. Let's do it. It's done. It's done. It's done. You gotta put it somewhere dark. Whack it in here. Even though it's not dark anymore. Bike, go off. Stay dark. Okay, five minutes later, I know what you're thinking. Joe, you're wearing the same t-shirt as yesterday. Yes, I am. Technically, all right, I wore it halfway through yesterday. And I always feel like, as long as it doesn't smell, then there should be no issue in wearing the same t-shirts two days in a row. Same with any other garment. Maybe not underwear, but, uh, well, definitely not underwear. But I think t-shirts, it always takes at least one day just to wear it in. So it's actually nice to wear the next day. Do you agree with me? I don't know, let me know in the comments. Anyway, let's find out. It actually was worth the money. Oh, that came out amazing. Yes. Oh, uh, Byron. He's probably having a poo. Byron? Yes, definitely having a poo. <laughs> I'll leave it on his bed. Yeah, Byron, check that out. <sighs> it's a sad, sad day. Well, actually, I say it's a sad day. It's not that sad because although I am saying goodbye to the G-Wagon today, you guys probably know, this thing happens quite regularly now, uh, which is obviously amazing. I'm very, very lucky for it to happen. It probably realistically won't be too long before there's another car, a different car, in this parking spot, which is <laughs> mad. But it always is sad to say goodbye to another one. Goodbye, you've been great. You've transported flowers, which reminds me. I need to sort out these back seats because um, I don't think Mercedes is going to really enjoy the fact that I've put these back seats down. So I need to sort that out, take all my stuff out of this car, and then say goodbye to the old girl. You've done well. He's only done 2,871 miles in his lifetime. You're still a baby. you still got your whole life ahead of you, car. I love you. I'll see you soon. And I've still got a really, really terrible barnet. Sorted. I still haven't tested this out. I want to do an overnight stay in one of these cars. I mean, I'm not sure on it, but I'm pretty sure these seats go down flat and you can essentially sleep in the back of this car. So next time I have one, I'm going to try that out. Right, so the car may have gone, but we've got a new addition to the house. What is that? <laughs> What's up, bro? Oh my God, what have you got in there? More goodies. We got them switched out. Gibson Legends. Gibson. Shout out to Gibson. They've sorted us right out with some more guitars. Yeah, it's sweet. Another bass? We got the same bass as last time. Oh. And then. So you took it all the way back there to get another. <laughs> to basically take it back again? Yeah. No way. To carry. Huh? Would have been a bit easier to move around with one less. Yeah. To carry. A new acoustic. So this guy's pretty. Sweet. So we had a problem with our last acoustic guitar. The last one, the. the rings out. Yes, that last time it's making a weird noise, wasn't it? Ah, <laughs> so we've got the same bass again. So you took this all the way to Central to bring it back again. Hour of traffic there, hour of traffic. Uh, and we've got, uh, we've got a new electric. And now we've got a Les Paul Gibson <gasps> this time. A Les Paul? Yeah! What a beauty! So this one's pretty cool. And I'm not talking about Father Abraham's <laughs> saggy body. It's quite small as well. I like that. Compared to the SG though. Yeah. It's a lot smaller. The thing is, you're used to playing the SG now, you're gonna struggle, do you think? My arm's gonna go there, and be like, oh. Yeah. But we've still got the Godman and this. I still love this one the most. <laughs> by far. Oh! We've been to the pub, and now we have McDonald's. But also, what I've just realized is, McDonald's now have Monopoly Millions. Byron, you didn't know what this is, do you? No idea, bro. Peel that off, you could win a free prize from McDonald's. The tension's real. Can we get some tension music? It's just some, another sticker telling you that there could be prizes to be won. Oh my God, he's reading the wrong bit. He's reading the wrong bit. You're reading the wrong bit. Where is it? Oh my God. It no, no you don't. Uh, what? No. You were, rules now you're cold, you're cold now. You were hot a minute ago when you peeled it off, now you're cold. McDonald's are tiered at you can No, ignore that, ignore that. There's something else. Oh my god, this is this is Prizes annoying. No, one don't one. look at this, don't look at this. What do you just what do you just peel off? Ah. Check the other side! <laughs> Have you won anything? No, you haven't. Uh look at McFlurry, is one McFlurry? Is there? Usually there should be. No? Yeah. Oh, oh. Byron! Tense music again. Let's go. 
Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, this tense music is taking a while. It's getting its oh, second verse, third verse. Oh, anything? No, nothing. Please. Fire in your chips. <laughs> Fire in your chips. Here we go. Third time lucky. They always say that. They always say that. And. <gasps> what is it? Sunday. Winner! Winner! You won! Apple Pie Sunday! I'll yes! Take Sunday, thanks. Nice, Byron! Yeah. Ice cream all round! Here we go. Joe Sug. Never fails. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. Winner! No, I'm not a winner. Uh, Universal Orlando trip. I've already been there. I don't want to do that again. Well, at least you won an apple pie or a Sunday. I'm proud of you, bro. I think I'll take Sunday. It's your first big win. Next stop, the lottery. Sad. Right, it is uh, later on in the evening now, me hearties. Speaking like that because we've been playing this uh, pretty much all evening. Like 8 till 11. It's 11 o'clock at night. It's uh, 12. Is it? Midnight. No, it's not. But it's really good. Sea of Thieves, I rate it. I quite. It takes a while to get into it. But it's one of those games that if you put the time in, it's, you can imagine, especially if you're playing with your mates, you can have a good old load of fun with it. Okay, I'm aware the lighting in here is absolutely... Terrible, but before I go to sleep, I've got an ASOS delivery. Um, if you didn't know already, as you're watching this, I will probably be in New York on a holiday with my sister Alfie, Poppy, Sean, and Mark Ferris. And I wanted to get some new clothes before I went there, which is kind of a stupid idea, really, because you're probably more likely to buy clothes out there because the shopping in New York is simply divine, apparently. Uh, but I've done an ASOS shop beforehand, and you know. They go down well on YouTube, so boy, here comes my thumbnail and title. So, like, imaginary friend does my ASOS shop, or I do my own ASOS shop. I don't know. There's just other people doing it for you, but I've just done my own. But I'm going to show you guys what exactly I ordered from ASOS. Who's excited? Put your hands in the air and leave a like rating on this video if you are as excited as me. Okay, first up, we've got this which is called a, a Borg jacket. It's basically a fluffy, a fluffy jacket. Um, I like that. I got that, which I'll open now. Boom. That looks a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Oh dear. Next up, I've got this, which is a oversized denim jacket, but with a uh, the kind of like, what's it called? A Borg, a Borg collar. I'm loving the Borg. But the question we're all thinking about, and the question we want to know, will it fit? Did I order the right size? I went for a small. Uh, that was an extra small. This is a small. Let's find out. Yeah, I think that's bang on. Even though it looks more than this one, I think this is the right, definitely my sort of size for this kind of jacket. Very, I like that a lot. That's very, that's that's a bit of me, that is. Well done, Joseph's imaginary friend who did this ASOP, ASOS shop for him. We also got some new socks, some Vans socks. You guys know I love Vans. I mean, that's pretty much the only shoes I wear other than Converse's and the odd terrible pair of shoes like these. I went through a weird stage, all right? I was influenced by some, some influencers who obviously weren't role models for me and uh, yeah, I messed up, all right? <laughs> <laughs> They're awful. Boom, I got this. It's an oversized t-shirt with He-Man on it. As you may know as well, I've been really into my uh, vintage old school t-shirts as well. Hence why I've got a, a massive eBay, hence I've got a massive eBay addiction at the moment. But I thought, I, I really like the color, obviously I like the pink color. And it's an oversized t-shirt and it's got freaking He-Man on it. What's not to like? Really like that. But what I don't like is a focus on this camera. There we go, thank you. You redeemed yourself. I got these Chino-y kind of trousers. Well, they look like cardboard. <laughs> these Chino kind of like uh, skinny trousers. I like them because they've got the white stripe going down the sides. I thought they could be quite cool. I don't really know what sort of shoes I'd wear with it, but I don't have any trousers like this. They're kind of smart. Um, but yeah, I quite like these. They're different. Then I got this. It's an ASOS super oversized heavyweight t-shirt with compost. Hmm. Now, I was excited about this t-shirt because it said it was heavyweight. Uh, I don't know what makes it heavyweight. If anything, it's still, to me, pretty, pretty thin. Do you know what I mean? I thought it'd be like quite a thick t-shirt. It's not. And there was no sign of compost in the bag. Maybe it's like 100% biodegradable. Who knows? Um, but I quite like the neck on it. It's got a cool neck on it. And it's, I like this kind of color on me. I think this color suits me as well. What else did I get? I think I got one more thing. Yeah, I did. One more thing. Actually, no, that's a lie. I got some sunglasses, which... Definitely weren't these ones, but hey, thanks ASOS, nonetheless. Boom, I got this. Reclaimed vintage inspired t-shirt with embroidery, black. Oh, embroidery, all a bit embroidery. Uh, and it's got skull and crossbones on it. Because as you know from this vlog, keeping it pirate themed, I love pirates. Oh yes, I like that a lot. That is nice. Bit of me, that. Lovely job, good size. Yes, all kinds of yes. And once again, we're out of focus. And then I got these, which are yellow glasses, yellow tinted glasses, which I quite like. It makes everything look brighter, but I mean, I kind of look like 
I look like Ali G or one of those people that can't see, have problems with reading books. So they've got to wear tinted glasses so they can read books easier. Or the kid from that one episode of Black Mirror who looks like he shouldn't shouldn't do on the internet and ends up getting, I don't want to ruin it for you because you watch it, but I look like that kid, which is not a good, not a good look to be honest as his character is quite, quite naughty. Anyway, I'm going to end today's vlog here because I'm bloody knackered. It's very, very late. Uh, and so I will probably see you where I'm off to New York for a week with Zoe and the rest of the gang, which we, I'm excited. I'm going on holiday. Hurrah! And it's also, oh, it's also Zoe's birthday whilst we're out there. The whole reason we're going out there, obviously, is because it's Zoe's birthday. So I need to get her a present. I've got a one, which I should wrap up tomorrow. Remind me. So his birthday on the 28th and to make sure I get her a present. Anyway, I'm going to call it a day there. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you very, very soon with another vlog. Anyway, see you later. Goodbye. I'm taking these glasses off now because I look stupid.